Well, Phil, it is a gorgeous Tuesday evening. We are standing on a little balcony just outside the University College Isle of Man, uh, looking across Douglas North, and that's the debate we were listening to tonight. Four candidates, David Ashford, Ralph Peake, John Wannenberg, and unfortunately Kevin Oliphant-Smith was unwell, so unable to join the debate this evening. But what did you make of what we heard tonight? I thought it was quite an interesting debate. Obviously, with fewer candidates, you get to find out a lot more about each one of them. I did feel at times that David Ashford was rather too keen to use the the Mananans mist uh, version of government spin that uh, we often hear uh, from, from, from government ministers. David is still a minister, obviously, and has done you know, a reasonable job, I think, in many people's estimation. But he's also a candidate standing in an election and trotting out the government line in that kind of hidden and, and not entirely clear what on earth is he talking about way. Certainly um, didn't push the right buttons for me. Can I just ask you about that? Because obviously this was a position, again, that you were in yourself, still a minister when you were standing for election. How do you detach the two? Because it's really difficult to say in some aspects what the public want to hear when you kind of do have to toe the government line, don't you? It's difficult, certainly. And one thing that does seem to be lacking a bit in Manx politics, well, in fact, it's lacking a lot, is accountability. Who is held accountable? Uh, you know, everyone sort of points fingers at everybody else, don't they? So again, you know, we, we've heard a little bit of that uh, from, uh, certainly Ralph Peake was uh, able to distance himself in the debate from what government has been doing. I mean, Ralph has been paid as a member of the government. And I shouldn't say that I didn't enjoy elements of what David had to say. And I thought he had some very good points in there, as did Ralph, as did John Wannenberg. Uh, John, completely new to politics and certainly held his own uh, this evening. He really did. And sometimes, isn't it that fresh approach? Uh, Somebody who's not, again, playing any sort of government line. Maybe that's really what the people want. Yes, and uh, he certainly spoke from the heart. Uh, He was very clear, you know, very honest in in terms of the answers he gave. Some of the answers may be a bit strong for some uh, ears. Um, Maybe not strong enough for others. And not strong enough for others, absolutely. So, so yeah, I I thought he did very well considering, you know, he's not an experienced politician. I actually quite took to some of Ralph's points. I mean, he was talking about strong vision for the future quite a bit and, and actually did seem to have an idea as to what that might be. David certainly had lots of good points, lots of interesting ideas. A number of the things like, I think there was talk about uh, housing needs to be the priority for the next five years. Well, you know, you've been in government for five years. Same with Ralph, really. Uh, You know, they've been in there. You you had the opportunity to do these things. Now, I do uh, also agree, there was a point made, I think, by Ralph that, uh, you know, five years ago, the first-time buyer issue, it was a real struggle to find anyone to buy a first-time buyer home. Um, and things have moved and they move relatively quickly. Um, but um, the, the big, bigger problem, and this again was one point that uh, Ralph uh, certainly picked up on, is the cultural change needed across government. Uh, government doesn't move quickly. I mean, we all know government doesn't move quickly. It is takes... there anything you could do to make it move quicker? Well, it is. It's about cultural change. And certainly Ralph uh, was, was mentioning some ideas about rather than government taking everything in, maybe it's time to, to move some of the things out. Like all the leisure things. Well, yes. Again, you know, talking up the, the whole issue of the, the mental health problems that we've got on the island. And then one of the few things that government does to help people's mental health, you know, in terms of providing all these leisure uh, facilities, uh, well, we could get rid of those. Now, I I, I presume he meant that uh, they would be taken on by somebody else. Uh, I, I would certainly hope that that was the case. Uh, but but yes, it, it, some some I mean, challenging points there, and, and some great discussion earlier on as well about the green agenda. Uh, some interesting points about the the new gas field. Certainly, uh, John Wallenberg said, "No, no, we've got to go for it. We need the money." David Ashford said, "Now, what was his words?" Something like the gas license needs to be reconsidered. Very much hedging your bets. Classic government minister answer there, I thought. Ralph, of course, uh, basically saying, no, we're too late with this now. Green Agenda would say you shouldn't be doing that. All right then, so if you had to call this one right now, would you be able to, do you think? Well, obviously we haven't heard from K- 
Kevin Oliphant Smith, so we'd have to see where he might fit in, in, in this. But certainly from the discussions this evening, there are, again, three strong candidates, three capable speakers, all have strong ideas. And there's a mix of ideas in there. You know, there's what you might consider to be the conventional uh, right wing, some conventional middle of the road, and perhaps some conventional uh, progressive politics on, on the left as well. So I suppose it'll just depend on how voters in Douglas North view their politics.